Thousands of people pack Library Square for the Utah Arts Festival, and the festival's director calls it one big backyard barbecue, along with 80,000 of your hmm. best friends. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it really is. Well, while you get a chance to buy some incredible art, you can also buy into something less artistic, but yet still benefits the arts. More than 80,000 people will pack downtown for the Utah Arts Festival this weekend. A celebration of art, music, dance, and so much more. There are stunning displays of grace and style that bring people together now into its 40th year. We've got more visual artists this year than we've ever had before. The festival is also doing something new in its second year. We'll call it a tongue-in-cheek fundraiser of sorts. Some people have tiles or bricks and what we have is porta potties so we decided to go with it and give it a shot. For $75 you can actually put your name or someone else's on a porta potty but the problem is you won't be able to reserve it. Other people will be able to use it. It's just a little bit of a joke and just having fun with the fact that you know this is a festival. A bit of potty humor for a festival known for art of nearly every kind and artists from nearly everywhere. There is something to see for everyone and more to see this year, no matter if you are a serious collector or not. Nobody cares. You're just here to enjoy the arts and experience the arts. And I just think that's just makes it the, the most wonderful thing. Well, the festival runs through the weekend and today is free admission into the festival and gates open at noon. So Friday, mm. Saturday and Sunday admission will cost about 12 bucks at the door, but check out their website uaf.org for other ways that you can get tickets at a discount. Have, have you ever seen your name on a porta potty? I don't think I have. <laughs> it, that's a first. And now, you know, the, what's the you can give a, you know what? Right. About the arts. Give a poo I like about it. the arts. When we come back on this Thursday